What's up guys? So in this video, I'm doing a little bit of background research on local SEO for Dan at Catalyst Sports Therapy and Rehab. So if I just open a normal Google tab, I want to figure out if Dan's showing up, how his local SEO is, what he can do to optimize his local SEO. Um, but I'm in Ohio. I'm not in Kansas. So if I just open a tab and do a search for keyword physical therapy in Great Bend, Kansas, he doesn't show up in the three pack up here, but you know, the, my results are going to be skewed. So the first thing that you do is if you're in the area, definitely just use your, your normal search. But since I'm looking from outside the area, I'm going to use this Google location changer. It's from serankingcom And basically I put in the keyword, that I'm looking for. I choose my country. I choose my location, Great Bend, Kansas, United States. I hit search Google. And so now what you see is Dan's actually showing up down here. Catalyst Therapy and Sports Rehab is showing up. So that's awesome. I mean, that's a huge benefit right now. If we look at just the competition that shows up here, we've got Central Kansas Orthopedic Group, Key Rehab Advanced Therapy, um, if I look above, there's no paid ads. So there's no paid ads showing up above the, the map. That might be an opportunity worth exploring, depending on how much money you want to put into a campaign. If we come down here, the number one search result is health grades. So health grades is a huge directory. Um, but it's kind of good that that's the first organic result. If I right click and go into that, what you're going to see is, you know, a pretty crummy search result like this doesn't really help anybody but one of the first things i would tell dan is if you don't if you haven't claimed your listing on here get on here and claim your listing you can claim it for free you can make sure all of your information is up to date accurate correct they're going to put you at the top of google right now so you might as well go ahead and do it. Of course, they're gonna offer you some paid placement. I wouldn't worry about that. There's not that much competition here. I would just go ahead and get your um, listing on this directory. Then we look here, ckortho.net. If I right click and open that. You know, and basically what I'm doing is I'm just looking at what are the top three organic results below the three pack. So how can Dan start to get his site showing up there? I haven't even looked at Dan's site yet. That's going to be the next thing we'll do. Um, so what do we have here? This is um, surgical specialists and physical therapy. So it looks like a physical therapy group owned by orthopedic surgeons. This takes you straight into the subcategory of physical therapy. It's not their homepage. It's also not their locations page. Um, services a little uh, promo video we've got original photos which is helpful we have protocols contact us so they do have an embedded map here uh, they have their information here i don't see their hours of operation that is something that google likes to put in these kinds of result pages and you know i don't see payment options so there's a couple things that we can probably outperform. Let's look at the third one, PT Kansas. So I'm going to open that up. Ooh, that's ugly. <laughs> I'm sorry, PT Kansas. That is really ugly. All right, so um, I'm going to close the pop-up that comes up. So we've got, looks like their locations listed across the top locations here this is their home page it's not a city dedicated page um so again usually these pages are pretty easy to beat in organic ranking they have you know aetna cms blue cross they have a contact us they have hours of operation but it's not really well defined it says varies by location uh, they do have an embedded map down here at the bottom so we're looking for consistency right? Google is telling us, hey, these three examples are what we, Google, want to present when somebody searches the key term. Um, so we can beat that. Let's do this. Let's go back in here. So we've got DocSpot. 
which is another directory, Yelp, another directory, Facebook. We need to make sure that you have your Facebook business profile optimized specifically for Great Bend, Kansas. Uh, Achieve Rehab, Yellow Pages, Tribune. All right, so you're not showing up anywhere there. Now I do have a paid ad, but I'm not sure if this is still gonna show up for you locally. I'm just trying to see if your business shows up anywhere in like the first couple pages. And if it doesn't, we'll go back to the first page and we'll just click through. So showing up on MapQuest, like that would be a great one, easy for you to do. Showing up in Google Maps, that'd be a great one, easy for you to do. Waze, another great one, easy for you to do. Um, here you are, here's Catalyst and here's Catalyst. So this is an MPI profile. This is opengovus.com. This is another MPI database. Like I would look at where you're already showing up, optimize those, make sure those are working in your, on your behalf. All right. But your main website's still not showing up. So let's see if we can come back in here. I did lose you there. Let's see. See what comes up. So I'm gonna click to go to your website. Let me see here. Uh, so we've got services, about, info. We do have your phone number, fax number. Excellence in physical therapy, sports rehab. You know, I'm a big believer, like I love seeing the clinician. I think this is the most important part. Above the fold, now obviously I'm on a desktop, having a person's knees, calves, feet, that adds no value, right? If I land on this website, nothing I see here really adds value this would add value. I would put this above the fold. I would prioritize this. If you're the main one, if you're selling you, that's what I want to see. I love pictures of the interior of the clinic. I think this is a beautiful looking clinic. You have your clinic hours. Um, you know, I would, I would format this a little differently. Like this is great, better than most, but I would look at Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I would look at having kind of the, like here you have 12, but no PM here on the rest of them. You, you have the colon. So 6 30 PM, but here you don't have colon zero zero for 11 AM. Unify the formatting, make it consistent. Um, make it match your Google, my business, make it match your Facebook profile, make it match everything that you can make it match so that we have that consistency across various outlets. Uh, learn more, unmatched facility access. I would get an embedded map here on the home page. I would create a location page, you know, like you have all of your location information on your home page. So do I. I don't have a location page on my website. I should. In fact, I'll create one just to, to follow my own advice. Um, like I love the about page. Again, I would put this above the fold. I don't think having heartfelt care taking up the entire spread, like the logo in the back. It's a beautiful website. I just think that having you first and foremost is really what we want to do. I love having the picture of the family. Like you're doing a thousand things really, really well. Patient info, patient forms, insurance, catalyst network with most major. Ins I would start listing them. You know, yes, we accept all insurance plans. So let's get a Medicare, Medicaid, Anthem Blue Cross, Humana, Men Mutual. Like let's get a list of insurance companies there. Because in Google's algorithm, we do accept all insurances doesn't necessarily give anybody any information. If somebody is typing United Healthcare Insurance, Physical Therapy, Great Bend, Kansas, 
we want that to show up, right? So list out the insurance companies and then you can say, and more or whatever. Um, I would, so I would create a dedicated city page that has an embedded map, has your hours of operation. I need to create a checklist for you is what I need to do. Um, let me go back here. So hours of operation, an embedded Google map. I've shown you guys how to do that. Uh, a list of the payers and payment types. If you offer self-pay options, if you want to put pricing, I would do it. If you don't want to put pricing, I would at least indicate that there are self-pay options. Uh, I would try a frequently asked questions section on that city page for the most common questions that are going to come up related to people searching, right? Do, do you accept walk-in appointments? How long does it take to schedule a, an evaluation? Um, are you in contact with other physicians? Like all of these things are patient questions that you could address in an FAQ. You need at least three questions and answers in an FAQ for Google to kind of recognize that it's an FAQ, but having that there would be a great option. And then if you're covering multiple cities, uh, if, if you're, I'm not sure, I can't tell if you're doing in-home, obviously you have an office, but I would consider a dedicated city page for each city you want to try and target. With a lot of duplicate information, it's okay. Your address is always going to duplicate on those city pages, your hours of operations, the insurance contracts you participate with, all of that stuff will be duplicate content. content. But then you want to try to get some actual dedicated content specific to that city. And that's where I shared ideas like, you know, your list of um, best walking trails in that city with some photos of the head of the trail or something along the trail. Um, you know, maybe a list of massage therapists in that city, Pilates, yoga, other, other associated um, businesses associated to you that you might endorse or recommend in that city with links to those businesses. So now the Google crawler can come to that city page, can index that city page, and then can see that that city page is referencing and linking to other local city attractions. You know, so you link to the local parks network or walking trails for Great Bend and for other cities in the area. You link to other local businesses and then reach out to them and tell them, hey, I'm putting a link on my site to your business. I would appreciate a link back to my business um, from your site. So you start building this interlinking web. And again, it helps Google to understand what's going on. That's what I would do. I think you'll show up in under the map pack for your area on a locations search. I would geotag your photos. So we already saw, you know, you have a photo of yourself. That's awesome. Geotag that photo for Great Bend or whatever city it is that you want to serve. Um, the picture of your family, geotag that with location information. In the alt tag, so if I right click and go to inspect, if I take a look, let me see if I can see it here. Um, I don't know, the way I have this formatted lately, it's been kind of hard for me to read. Here we go. So get in there and double check, see if you have your alt tags populated with information. If you don't, Put in, here it is, alt, yeah, see, I don't think there was anything listed for your alt tag. Um, put an alt tag in there, maybe, you know, photo of Dan's family in Great Bend, Kansas. Um, that will help to further optimize some of these resources. Every little signal we can send Google's way is a chance that we're going to raise the quality of this page. So. Hope that was helpful. Anybody else, these are the things that are gonna help you start to show up below the map pack, below the three pack on location-based searches. I'll catch you guys later.